My name is Tun Lin. I'm from Burma. I'm 34 years old. I like traveling and I like thinking. I came to Thailand illegally, looking for work. I arrived here with a friend from my same town. He introduced me to a man who said he could find me a job. The man put me in a shipping container with 20 other people. We immediately knew something was wrong. We were banking on the door, demanding to know what was happening but nobody responded. We were locked in the container for two days. One night, a group of men came, took us out, and we were taken to the pier. We were given fake passports and put on a fishing boat. My friend had sold me into slavery. We were abused and beaten up. We were the fishermen with no words. We couldn't raise our voices. We would work from 5 a.m. to midnight. When we found tuna, we would work four or five days without sleep. We were given drugs to stay awake. I worked on the fishing boat for 11 years. The fishing boat was very big, like that. My first trip was in Somalian waters. Somalia was the scariest place. Their boats have guns and they would fire upon us. Three men died on the boat. They name a child, Ton and Sunshine. They weren't buried. Their bodies were tossed in the sea. Fishermen lost their hands, their legs. The equipment crushed their bodies. I thought, this is how I'm paying for my sins. I started to miss my mom. I cry a lot too. I miss my home. Most traffickers kidnap people at the market, train station, or at the piers. Some men are taken by force, others are drugged, then kidnapped. Traffickers work with Thai police to take the men, then they share the profit. They don't see us as humans, they see us as animals. One day, the net got caught under the boat and I was ordered to get in the water to free the net. I remember the waves were very big and the net was swinging in the swell. The safety rope was about to break and I feared I'd be thrown into the propeller, I would die. I gripped the rope and started climbing, but the captain ordered us to rewind the net. My hand was caught. I couldn't move it. I could feel the machine crushing my bones. I ripped my glove off. I couldn't see my fingers. They were gone. I thought my life was over. I was crying. My whole life wasted. That white ship is a mother ship. A mother ship transferred the fish from many boats at sea. That way, the boats and the men are kept working at sea, never reaching shore. In 2014, the boat made it to Ambon Island. 
our boat had to renew its documents, so we were forced to dock for several weeks. I started talking to other fishermen and learned that they too were so into slavery. We desperately wanted to escape, but there was nowhere to go. We were on an island far from the mainland. We didn't have any money. We were scared of the captains. One day, a woman called Patima showed up. She was from LPN, a foundation that helps enslaved fishermen get back to their homes. She told us not to give up, to get proof of what was happening. We started taking photos of the conditions on the boat. We grew brave. Hope gave us the strength to escape. The captains hired mafia to find us and take our phone with the proof. But no one was afraid anymore, and we fought back. Three fishermen died that day. I made it home to Indonesia when LPN sent a rescue vessel. My mom sat in front of the house waiting for me. My dad was speechless. I said, Mom, I'm home. I couldn't sleep, though I tried very hard. I felt like I was still on the boat. I thought it was a dream. We are fortunate that we survived. But there are a lot of trafficking victims left out there in the sea.